Hi guys, welcome to real time automation. Today we are going to see how mouse over function um, works for us using action classes. Let's get started guys. For this example I am going to take Mercury Travels site. So I am navigating in a Chrome. Once we are navigated now I am going to click on foreign exchange guys you can see that is both mouse over and as well as a drop down like we need to select the values from that drop down so you can see foreign exchange and robotas are both uh, uh, mouse over we, c we should do mouse over then we need to select the values from those So for now, for this example, we are going to test cell Fox here. So once we clicked on this, it is going to navigate to this particular page. Cell foreign exchange. This is a page. It is going to navigate. So this is the function that I am going to automate now. Um, so let's inspect this one. Right click here and start inspecting. And mouse over on like foreign exchange inspect that particular element and you can see there is an anchor tag for that one so instead of that one we will go with like um, um, li uh, tag so that is the entire mouse over right wherever you place your mouse cursor it is going to open that drop down so I am going with that one I am copying that particular uh, x path Let me paste it here and see. Let's see. You can see it is selecting the entire um, field, foreign exchange field. I'll copy this one. Let's uh, as it is a web element, and I'll start writing it as a web element. Le equals to driver dot find element so we are going with the find element there is a single we are dealing with a single element right here so we are going with the find element here let me copy this x path there now uh, we need to as it is string we need to make it in a inverted commas and we are going to import web element here now write down the action class here means you need to call the action class here so I am creating the object as action here and I will pass the driver in a constructor so import the action classes here with reference of the action uh, now we need to call uh, method move to element and we need to pass the web element that already we captured right that element we need to pass here do ele and dot perform we are performing this action here So now let's execute this one and see how it works in our system till here like I have written a function till the mouse over point here see it is getting navigated to that particular um, mercury travel site first and then it is going to mouse over on foreign exchange You can see the function has been done so it's perfect like we can move ahead and we'll start writing the um, method for clicking that self forex
so now you can see the um, the values are under um, u u l tag under l i so you can see there are four uh, values right under u l you need to select any one from that one so i am going to write a um, x path in such a way that all the four tags should come here like i'll keep them i'll pass them in a web element uh, find elements as a x path for that one you can see um the count is like 4 you are able to see the second one out of 4 we are highlighting here so we need to copy that one here and start so as it is a, a list of uh, elements right we need to um, use a list here and so web element is a so driver dot find elements as we are dealing with more elements right so that's why you are going with the element find elements here dot x path we need to paste that particular x path over here So now we need to import the list here. It is Java dot util. So now we will take a for each loop here. We need to iterate uh, through all the elements, right? So for each web element, element equal to elements. now we write a if condition in this one like if that element dot get text contains contains or you can use or you can go with the equals here equals to that particular string the value actual value that we want to select right we can pass that particular value over here so uh, we need to pass we will select the second value that is self rex so here if it contains that if condition satisfied then we are going to click on that particular drop down value and we are coming out of that loop so we are using a break here so let's see that how our code works here right click we are running as java application okay So we are navigating to my travel site here and mouse over on that particular foreign exchange. So and click on sell for X. You can see guys. So um, our code has executed correctly. And thanks guys for watching my video.